Assalamu alaikum dear students today we will discuss immunosuppressant drugs immunosuppressant drugs are a class of drugs that suppress or reduce the strength of the body's immune system so it may not be able to reject any organ transplant which is happening inside the body some of these drugs are used to make the body less likely to reject a transplanting organ such as a liver heart or kidney transplant these drugs are also called anti rejection drugs so we will discuss today immunosuppressant drugs and what they cause inside the body they reduce the uh, immune response towards these foreign intruders immunosuppressant drugs reduce the response of immune system towards any transplant so they are also called anti rejection drugs general risk of immunosuppressant drugs are that drugs which suppress the immune system are inevitably associated with increased risk risk of infection and malignancies Many of these drugs also impact adversely on patients' uh, cardiovascular uh, risk, increases cardiovascular risk, and there are chances that it could cause cardiovascular arrest. The most significant side effect of immunosuppressant drug is an increased risk of infection as your immunity system is compromised, so there are maximum chances that you can get infected. Other less serious side effects can include loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting, increased hair growth. and hand trembling these effects typically subside as the body adjusts to the immunosuppressant drugs there are many different immunosuppressant medications usually prescribed including corticosteroid uh, tetrolimus cyclosporin mycophenolate azathioprine or sirolimus these medications are of vital importance uh, for your new organ survival however many of them come with mild to severe unwanted side effects these are the few corticosteroid drugs which are used in as a immunosuppressant drugs which you usually prescribe tetrolimus cyclosporin mycophenolate azathioprine and sirolimus people taking immunosuppressant drugs should avoid taking foods such as dairy unpasteurized milk cheese and other dairy products uh, meat such as raw or undercooked meat fish poultry eggs and uh, egg substitutes fruits vegetables uh, unwashed raw fruits and vegetable beverages and condiments thank you very much what happens if you stop taking immunosuppressant drugs stopping treatment of immunosuppressant drugs can reduce those side effects but it may trigger a f- or flare up Uh, lupus system such as uh, fatigue rashes painful and swollen joints and fever the serious autoimmune problems associated with the using of immunosuppressant drugs are rheumatoid arthritis systemic lupus erythematosus uh, inflammatory bowel diseases multiple sclerosis type 1 diabetes mellitus and some other uh, infections such as psoriasis and polyneuropathy the most deadliest autoimmune disease caused by uh, using immunosuppressant drugs are joint cell myocarditis that could lead to the death of the patient today we will discuss an immunosuppressant drug that is azathioprine What is azathioprine? Azathioprine is a thiopurine linked to a second heterocyclic and amidazole derivative. 
uh, why a thioether? Thioether, you know, sulfur. It is pale yellow solid with a slightly bitter taste and a melting point of 238 to 245 centigrade. It is practically insoluble in water, uh, but is slightly soluble in lipophilic solvent, which you know uh, are chloroform, ethanol, and diethyl ether. It dissolves in alkaline aqua solution where it hydrolyzes to 6 mercaptopurine. The structure of azathioprine is as follows. And there are three double bonds are present in purine link. And that sulfur is linked to the imidazole ring. That is the structure of azathioprine. That is purine linkage, and purine is linked to the midazole ring through a thioether linkage. That is a midazole, that is purine, and that is thioether linkage. Azathioprine is an immunosuppressant drug. Uh, used in organ transplantation and autoimmune diseases and belongs to the chemical class of purine analog as I have shown you in the structure that is purine analog and that is thioether linkage and that, that is heterocyclic midazole ring. Uh, synthesized originally as a cancer drug and a prodrug for mercaptopurine in 1957. It has been widely used as an immunosuppressant drug for more than 15, 50 years. As a thyprine acts as prodrug for mercaptopurine, inhibiting an enzyme required for the synthesis of DNA. Thus, it most strongly affects proliferating such cells such as B cells and T cells of the immune system. The main adverse effect of azathioprine is bone marrow suppression which can be life-threatening, especially in people with a genetic deficiency of the enzyme thiopurine S-methyltransferase. It is also listed by the International Agency for Research on Cancer as a group of number one carcinogen, so that it can easily cause carcinogenicity in a human with already compromised immunity. As a thioprine is produced by a number of manufacturers under different brand names. As a thioprine is produced by a number of manufacturers under different trade names, as a sand by Salix in the US, uh, Imurant by GlaxoSmithKline in Canada, the US, Australia, Ireland, and the United Kingdom, as a immune in Finland and Imural in Scandinavia and France. Uh, it is on the World Health Organization list of essential medicines, a list of those important medications needed in a basic health system. As a thioprene is synthesized by following steps, each step we will discuss uh, one by one. In the first step, methylamine, two molecules of methylamine will react with diethyl acetate. 2CH3 and H2 that will react with diethyl acetate C2H5 O C double bond O that is C double bond O O C2H5 
So ultimately, ethoxy group from this side and ethoxy from group from this side and two protons will be removed from methyl amine and two Hc two H five or H two molecules will be removed. So new structure formed will be CH three. N H C double bond O C double bond O N H E H three. This will go under uh, cyclization in the presence of P C L five and result in the formation of imidazole, a heterocyclic compound. That is amidazole. Amidazole will ultimately combine with thiopurine. Uh, chlorine derivative of amidazole will combine with thiopurine analog of purine to form as a thiopurine. That is nitro group is introduced and that ultimately reacts with thiopurine That is thiopurine due to the presence of sulfur and that is purine ring and that will combine with amidazole, nitroamidazole and result in the formation of your actual product that is azathioprine. Sulfhydryl that hydrogen will combine with this Cl and linkage will be formed. So there is presence of nitrogen here, first and third position, and double bond. When they both combine, your new structure will be formed. That is your drug as a thio frame. Thank you very much. As a thioprene is used alone or in combination with other immunosuppressive therapy to prevent rejection following organ transplantation and to treat an array of autoimmune diseases including rheumatoid arthritis, pemphigus, systemic lupus erythematosus, 
Bechet disease and other forms of vasculitis, autoimmune hepatitis, atopic dermatitis, misthenia gravis, neuromyelitis optica, Davis diseases it is also called restrictive lung diseases and others. It is also an important therapy and steroid sparing agent for inflammatory bowel disease such as Crohn syndrome, Crohn disease and ulcerative colitis and for multiple sclerosis. In the United States, it is currently approved by the Food and Drug Authority for used in uh, kidney transplantation from human donor and for rheumatoid arthritis. Transplantation As a thioprene is used to prevent rejection of kidney or liver allografts used in conjunction with other therapies including corticosteroids, other immunosuppressant and uh, local radiation therapy. The administration protocol starts either at the time of transplantation or within the following two days. Rheumatoid arthritis being a disease modifying anti-rheumatic drug as a thioprene has been used for management of the signs and symptoms of adult rheumatoid arthritis. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs and corticosteroids may be combined or continued if they were already in use with azathioprine. But the combination with other DMARDs is not recommended. DMARDs means disease modifying rheumatic drugs. What is Crohn disease? Azathioprine has been used in the management of moderate to severe or chronically active Crohn disease to maintain clinical remission, absence or disease or absence of disease activity in corticosteroid dependent patient and to provide benefits in people with fistulizing Crohn disease. The onset of action is slow and it may require several months to achieve clinical response. As a thioprene treatment is associated with an increased risk of lymphoma but it is unclear still. If this is due to the drug of a predisposition related to the Crohn disease, lower doses of azathioprine are used as a therapy in children with refractory or corticosteroid dependent Crohn disease without causing many side effects. In Crohn disease, treatment with azathioprine shortly after diagnosis was no more likely to result in corticosteroid free remission that is remission means uh, absence of disease activity in cortico, uh, corticosteroid free remission than standard care of placebo. As a thioprene is sometimes used in syst uh, systemic lupus erythematosus patients with the require a maintenance dose of 15 mg or high dose of prednisolone and uh, those who experience recurrent flares. It is used as an adjuvant in the oral steroid therapy of pemphigus and misthenia gravis and as a steroid sparing agent for reducing the dose of corticosteroid. It was shown to be very effective in eczema and atopic dermatitis in researches even though it is not commonly used. The British National Eczema Society list it as a third line treatment for a severe to moderate cases of these skin diseases such as eczema. It was widely used for the treatment of multiple sclerosis until the first half of the 1990s. Con concerns about increased risk of malignancy has led to a decreased use, yet it is still used in maintenance treatment for patients who frequently relapse.